one last time. Welcome back to Wolf Glicks Super Smash Brothers Sword and Shield Nintendo GameCube Invitational. We are here with Grand Finals somehow, some way. And actually, I'm joined, of course, by the the lovely, the wonderful Aaron Cybertron Zeng. <laughs> Um, Aaron, it looks like the players are actually are actually connected, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, and jump us right into the game here. Um, but what, how do you feel? This is grand Dude, finals. I, I I'm so hyped. Uh, these guys actually play out of their minds today, mm -hmm. and I think uh, it, 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 the these these games have honestly been incredible. I think like for for guys that uh really just picked up the game, like all of them really in the last like two weeks or so, like mm -hmm. it's kind of incredible how good like they've gotten. Um and. Uh, this finals is going to be really hype. It actually reminds me a lot of the finals of the World Champion Invitational where uh, Seijun, <laughs> who won with the team that Zane is using, Zane's using Seijun's exact team, mm -hmm. uh, had to go up against like this really tricky Trick Room matchup that had both Bronzong, uh, or not Bron uh, Ludwig doesn't have Bronzong, he's got the Dust Collapse, but right. yeah, right, Carrier is really good against uh, the team that Zane is using. So it's going to be a classic, like, will Ludwig be able to set up Trick Room? Uh, if not, then Zane can probably overwhelm him with offense, but... Ludwig is able to set up Trick Room right here. He can really just pick off Pokemon one by one. Yeah, I think I think Ludwig is it's has been playing. I, I really like both players. Um, I feel like this is a really cool um difference in styles because Ludwig has been um although he's been really making he's been keeping it dynamic. He's been bringing pretty much Butterfree Dusclops almost every single game, whereas Zane's been keeping it more um more like tricky. I would say, but the thing is that um Ludwig doesn't always make the same play every turn. He sometimes yeah. goes for sleep powder. He sometimes goes for rage powder, and sometimes he goes for a hard switch while he goes for trick room. Um, and so yeah, it's just been it's just been really really interesting to see these players play, and I'm so excited to see how these finals play out. Yeah, one really cool thing that I think Zane could do is go Darmanitan and Duraludon Earthquake to activate your own weakness policy, and then Max Darkness to just knock out Dura uh, the Dust Clops. So well, Aaron, um, if you see on your screen before you. <laughs> There is actually something, uh, something, something there, uh, that might, <laughs> that might, uh, indicate that you're correct. The other option, what I was thinking actually was this lead, um, with Rock Slide and, uh, Dark Pulse into Dusclops and go for the, to go for the flinches. Um, but we'll have to see here. We actually do get the, uh, the Dynamax turn one from the Duraludon. I, it's probably Max Darkness you'd expect, right? Yeah, it has to be. I mean, this is, uh... I think if you can deny the Trick Room, you can really just overwhelm with offense here. So, let's see. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, uh, I would say that Ludwig's game, game plan is so, so predicated around him successfully getting off. Um, oh my god, Aaron, you called it! <laughs> Do you think it KOs? Oh, it's definitely going to KO. Uh, it has to. There's no way it doesn't. I mean, I mean, when there's a will, there's a way. Now, is I feel like Duraludon's not that fast. I think Butterfree might have actually outsped it. So... I think there's a good chance that Sleep Powder... I don't know if that'll work a game, too, but... Uh, Dusclops, one of the bulkiest Pokemon, just drops in one hit. It's a one-hit knockout. It is a critical hit. I don't think that mattered. No. Um, I'm just going to say it, it didn't matter. Um, that's that's the first time I've seen uh, Ludwig lose his Dusclops turn one. That's one of the very few ways around it. And uh, there you go. Being able to... Uh, yeah, so... Uh, Theraladon's ability also allows you to ignore redirection uh, if you are using uh, Stalwart. So by being able to re uh, ignore redirection, you're able to just instantly get a, uh, a big knockdown. It's one of the very few ways you can deny some of the heavy Trick Room setters. Now, that being said, I mean, Rhyperia is able to come out. You still have the pressure of sleep, and uh, we do know that it's a Choice Scarf, the Darmanitan. So, yeah, so it's uh, probably Darmanitan can't here. touch Butterfree, so Butterfree, like you mentioned, can go for a Sleep Powder on either of these two Pokemon. Right, yeah. Um, we actually see the switch out from Darmanitan, which makes some sense into Passimian. Um, Rhyperior's going to Dynamax here, interestingly enough. Um, yeah, I think I think Ludwig actually still has a chance in this, specifically because Butterfree. If Butterfree outspeeds Duraludon um, and can put into sleep, I think there's a pretty good chance that Ludwig could still win this because... Um, presuming Sleep Powder hits on Passimian here, um, and, and, and assuming that, I guess, Duraludon attacks into Rhyperior this turn, this is really not over. This is really not yeah. over. He could still bring this back. But the plan is not simple at this point, boys. Oh! Oh my oh. god. Oh my god. So, um, unfortunately for, uh, Ludwig, he Sleep Powder is the Passimian, which at first glance might seem good, but actually, I don't know, I, I'm really surprised. I didn't, I didn't realize that Duraludon outsped Ludwig's, um outsped Ludwig's Butterfree, which means he can't Rage Powder here, and he can't, um, he cannot Sleep Powder before it attacks. 
Yeah, if he put that Duralit onto sleep, I think he'd actually be in a really good position, but now he's still got to worry about the uh, Steel Spike coming out. Yeah. Um, but I guess because the Duraludon is uh, faster than the Butterfree, you'll get the Steel Spike off, and maybe, I mean, right here, I think, should survive that, and then maybe you can Heal Pulse, or not Heal Pulse, Pollen Puff yourself to heal it back up. Do you think it will survive at plus two? Oh, no, it's got the weakness policy. Right? It has yeah, the weakness I'd, policy. I, yeah, I'd be shocked. Yeah. He needed to really put the Duraludon to sleep. Yeah, um, he really did. Um, I, I, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure it gets the knockout, like, Seijun's, uh, Duraludon, I remember, didn't really have that much special attack investment, but, yeah, uh, but Butterfree's the one opting to switch out here, so, I think you really need to get the survival this turn. Yeah, you need to get the, the survival, actually, um, Pacifian cannot wake up this turn and has not taken any turns of, uh, sleep, and actually see the double protect come out, and oh! it fails! Oh, he does not get it. He does not get it. This is starting to look pretty insurmountable. Max Heal Spike comes out, it does get the- Oh yeah, my god. I I was not expecting that. Um, yeah, I'll, I think Seijun's throughout. Oh, I forgot how much special attack investment it had, but right, Pure is honestly just one of the bulkiest Pokemon. It's so insane. bulky, and Solid Rock providing an extra protection for super effective attacks. I will say this, Aaron. This is not over. Um, the thing is that Torkoal with Heat Wave will do. Will, it will KO Duraludon, um, yes. first of all. And if Pissimian stays asleep for long enough, it also we also can expect Torkoal to KO um, the. It will KO the. Um, the monkey, the gorilla in the back, the Dermanitan in the back. So if Pissimian sleeps for long enough and Butterfree still has its um still has its focus ash intact, this is not over, even though it's looking really bad for Lud, and actually he has not um he has not actually done damage to the to uh, his opponent yet, <laughs> to Zane yet. He, the only damage that's been done is through Earthquake. Um Yeah. But it's it's actually not over. Torkoal's a poke Torkoal Butterfree or two book one that could really bring this back. He does yeah, choose to lock himself into the you, you don't necessarily even need to get up Trick Room. Like the thing is that um, Ludwig, like, like Torkoal and Rhyperior are just so strong against so many of the Pokemon on Sajin's team, right? They pretty yeah. much can knock out everything in combination, and uh, you're often getting one-hit KOs there as well, so yeah, the Rhyperior being able to hang on, let's see if that's enough to knock out, oh, so close. So close but, uh, through Protect. Yeah. The so, thing is, though, the Special Defense Boost is actually really good for Torkoal, and Torkoal has locked itself into yes. Heat Wave. I would expect Heat Wave to 2-hit KO this, uh, this Pissimian, wouldn't you? Yes, same, yeah. If it connects, it, it does connect. There should be a two at KO. It is yeah. so, you know. I don't see a really good way for um, for Zane to stop a double KO here. Yeah, I mean, uh, you can. Uh, yeah, a Draco Meteor definitely is not knocking out Torkoal. I think like mm, you Dude, probably lot, actually, like you said, probably end up losing both Pokemon. I mean, the key thing here is that Duraldon's protected. We know Pessimian doesn't have protect, so you basically have to take two hits here. Uh, uh, if you're going to protect... wakes up a faint might just knock that out. But... Oh my god, a three turn sleep. That's a maximum sleep roll. Draco Meteor comes out into Torkoal. He calls I... it. Ooh. This is probably going to be like 75%, I feel like. Oh my oh, god. A one hit knockout. Really, yeah. I guess the weakness policy boosted it so much that even with a special defense boost, it didn't matter. And at that point, the game is this game is over. Um, yeah, this game would have been so different if uh, Ludwig went for the Sleep Powder into the Duraludon instead slot of the instead Pissimian. of Pissimian which switched in. Because yeah. if you shut that down, that's the biggest threat. And then, uh, you know, the key thing here, I think, is that we can see that Ludwig doesn't necessarily need Trick Room, actually, to win. Like, Butterfree Redirection Support can be super good. I think you just need to prioritize shutting down Duraludon, because that's yeah. by far the biggest threat to everything that Ludwig's uh, bringing so far. Yeah, I really like this lead from... Um, I really like this lead from... Um, from, I'm so sorry, from, from Zane, because <laughs> even if he were to switch it up with Charizard, then, uh, he could, then, uh, Zane could lock himself instead of, um, instead of going for, you know, the, uh, the Earthquake like he did this game, he could go for the Rock Slide and pick up the KO on the Charizard, so, yep. um, yeah, like, somehow, and I remember when I was watching the World Champ Invitational, I didn't feel like, um, like Seijin was using his, his, uh, Charmanitan that much, but, I feel like Zane is bringing in almost every game, and it's just doing so much work for him. Yeah, and that specific combo, I don't think we really saw featured too much in the course of that tournament, but it's something really neat that like, you can pull off specifically, mm -hmm. and is literally perfect for a situation like this where you know someone wants to get redirection off. So I think the priority for uh, Ludwig is maybe try to take advantage of the fact that you have the... Uh, Butterfree and you have the focus sash and try to just put the Duraludon to sleep but like yeah. you mentioned yeah, Duraludon is pretty speedy uh, and it's actually being able to outspeed Butterfree here is a, is a super big deal but yeah I mean because we saw that it, it looks like a damage roll there from the plus two Duraludon against Rhyperior like had he 
Ludwig maybe gone for the max quick and pollen popped himself could have been a super different game as well. But yeah, I think the key thing here is that you want to check the Thraladon by potentially putting it to sleep. Yeah, I think there was two kind of two crucial turns where Ludwig quote unquote wasted, um, and that made sense because he didn't have all the information. The first was um, turn one. We went when he went for Rage Powder and Zane went for Earthquake, activating the weakness policy, not attacking Butterfree and Max Darkness attacking. Once again, Dusclops not attacking Butterfree. If that turn one had been a Sleep Powder into Duraludon, um, I think this game would have gone very, very differently. Um, and yeah. the other one, like you said, is that... I mean, Rhyperior survived on 2 HP. For those of you who don't know, um, there are damage rolls in Pokemon, which means that might have been a low roll. It's not. There's no guarantee it would survive again. Um, but that was another turn where he went for the Double Protect, it failed. Again, if he'd gotten it, this game would be very different as well. And um, he survives, but if that had been a KO, there's a good chance he could have won. So... Um, on the other hand, he did get a three-turn sleep with the Passimian, even though he didn't win, so he might not be so lucky again. And I did see Ludwig miss a sleep powder, despite being over 97% accurate, so um, that's always something you have to consider. <laughs> Although, you probably can't plan for it. You have to assume it's going to hit. Um, but yeah, do you think we see Charizard this game, Aaron? Uh, it's so hard, though, because the Darmanitan is Rock Slide, and like, I, you, I, I feel like Darmanitan and Duraludon is a pretty safe lead. Like, There's really no great coverage against that. If you bring Charizard, like... I guess you could bait, like, Charizard and Dusclops to bait the Rock Slide, but then you're eating up, like, a Rock Slide and a Dark Pulse, and you can get flipped. You can just get flipped and lose right away, yeah. I, I just feel like the fact that you're slower makes it a, a lot tougher. Um, because the the, the Dermanitan is really, like, the key thing you have to watch out for. I mean, the thing is, and it looks like Ludwig's actually considered bringing it over Torkoal, which is an interesting decision. I mean, the upside here is basically if you don't get the Trick Room up and then Darmanitan switches out because it doesn't want to Earthquake, then Charizard can come out. Uh, potentially Dynamax, and if it gets a Max Airstream off, then it actually will outspeed um, everything. Yeah, everything. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, maybe not leading Charizard, but keeping it in the back. Yeah, and the other thing is that so something that really hasn't come into play yet, but has the potential to come into play, is that Char Rhyperior actually has Max. It has Fire Punch, which can set the Sun for Charizard, and um, Charizard and Sun with a Charcoal using Fire type moves, thanks to its ability Solar Power and its Fire typing and Sun Boost. Its Fire type moves do ridiculous damage, and I, I seriously. Um, it'll do it'll do a, an absurd amount of damage. So if that's something that gets set up, that be good, could be good. Both players, I really like that they're sticking to their guns with their leads. Um, uh, Ludwig is probably thinking, I'm not going to fall for that again. Um, and actually, Aaron, something that's really interesting is that if he goes for Sleep Pet or Trick Room turn one, and I think it's probably what he's going for, either um, the same play happens, Earthquake comes out, but Sleep Pet puts Duralit onto Sleep. Now you can go into Charizard, and Darmanitan is locked into Earthquake, so you have a, you have a free, um, you have a free, like, attack, um... Or, um, or you get Trick Room up and you can try to win with Rhyperior. So it actually looks like Ludwig is doing the same thing he did versus Plup, where he led his Trick Room setter in order to, or led one Pokemon in order to bait another. Let's see if the same play comes out. It is Dynamax. This would be a brilliant mix-up there, even if the Charizard gets KO'd. I mean, if you put the uh, Duraludon to sleep, Rhyperior can really sweep through Sajin's entire team. Or Absolutely. Like using, I should say. Um, that was actually really the dynamics of that finals from that Invitational as well, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I like the adjustment. I think Gastrodon is also a Pokemon that Ludwig can consider bringing in Dynamaxing maybe in the future. But yeah, here's the Earthquake play, so it's not going to hit anything on Ludwig's side. Nice mix-up. Yeah, really nice mix-up there. He goes for the Earthquake, um, activates his weakness balls. If he puts Duraludon to sleep here, it's going to be um, Duraludon with uh, like fast asleep and not able to do any damage. Um, Max Darkness comes out, and uh, of course, Gorilla is... is um, oh, it gets the one-hit knockout. What? That's yeah. insanely powerful. Uh, but if he puts, even, it's still fine because even if he, even if Gorilla, um, even if uh, Darmanitan is locked into Earthquake, like it's not that big a deal. Sleep Powder comes out. Oh wait, who's it? Oh no, he didn't into the. Whoa. <laughs> uh, he didn't into Darmanitan. Hmm. Well. I, I guess now the question is, can Dusclops just take a plus two max darkness? I, I don't think so. Oh, Charizard but... didn't. Is Dusclops twice as bulky as Charizard? Because it's super effective. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. I, I, all he needed to do was Sleep Powder Darmanitan. It would have been over. Out on both it it yeah, would have been over, yeah. It would have a really good spot. Yeah. But, uh, I think uh, max darkness... I, I mean, okay, so if he gets three turns of sleep on everything... Then even if Dusclops gets knocked out here, you get a free switch in into Rhyperior, and then you do have the redirection support from Butterfree. But what looked like a really smart turn one, yeah, ended up not working out too well because the Sleep Powder didn't end up going into Duraludon. So Butterfree is going to switch out here. Uh, Still not going for that sleep. I mean, I guess he's saying I need Dusclops to survive in order to win this one. He's betting it all on uh, 
Darkness comes out. He's betting it all on Dust Club surviving. This could be the whole set. This could be the whole tournament. Max Darkness comes out. Dust Club survives! Oh, what? Are you serious? Well, Charizard got KO'd, and that's a super effective attack, but Dust Club survives. Don't count Dust Clubs out. Oh, Don't my sleep goodness. on the king. Uh, okay, well, this game just got a, a whole lot more interesting. That changes everything. I... Because it's so hard for Sajun's team to actually... Deal with right here, here trick room. I mean, yeah, you get the free bulldoze off. I feel like you kind of have to target the Duraludon here. It'd be really risky not to. I mean, you, but he could make a really hard read saying Duraludon has to max guard here. So I'm mm -hmm. going to get a free knockout and a special defense boost. But if you call that incorrectly and uh, Zane gets a high damage roll, that right here is just gone and that's the game. But wow, what a survival. Yeah, I think one of the real advantages here is that even if... Um... First of all, he has Memento, which normally is not great, but in this situation, yeah. with low HP Dust Clops, like that could be really huge in surviving. Um Yeah, and, and even if even if like he gets this call wrong and he and Duraludon doesn't go for max guard, um then even still, like, you know, what's the worst case that happens? Dramatic can get to one turn sleep, it chaos dust clops. Now you've got Butterfree in which can sleep pattern. You can you know, you know that Butterfree underspeeds both these Pokemon, which means in Trick Room it outspeeds them. So now you have, you know, Butterfree, you have plus two Rhyperior, you can start kid, like putting one Mon KO and then one Mon to sleep, and that could be, the, you know, that could give you what you need to win this game. Let's see if Duraludon protects. Does not protect! Oh, it doesn't! Oh my oh, boy! What a huge survival there. I'm shocked. I, I thought there was no way it survived. Dusclops is 147 HP stat, and uh, Charizard is more than that. It's not super effective, and it's still, uh, it still got the KO, so I was not prepared for that. Um... Alright, so Bulldoze is going to come out. More importantly, activate the weakness policy. Here is the Max Quake that is going to go into Duraludon. That's going to pick up the knockout. And provide a special defense boost, which is huge yeah, here. So, I mean, if Darmanitan stays asleep here, even if it wakes up, an Earthquake is definitely not knocking out the Rhyperior by any means. No, it's actually even give a free switch in into that Butterfree. So, yeah. This is the, the matchup. I mean, the nature of this matchup, Rhyperior can, like, sweep everything. And, oh, there is a wake up. This Here's is just some damage, but not actually not that much. And, yeah. And the key thing here is that Zane has already committed his Dynamax. And if, because your choice with the Darmanitan, you're stuck Earthquaking, that's not really doing much damage. And, you know, Ludwig can play around that by targeting basically what's next to the Darmanitan. Right. And, and again, we already know that Butterfree underspeeds the Darmanitan even after a speed drop. So yeah. um, he can, and Passimian can't protect. So we've got, Zane has the, fr or uh, Ludwig has the freest sleep pattern into one slot, KO the other one with Max Quake. And so. Yep, exactly. Yeah, this is going to be, and if he KOs one one, the other one has to switch back in. Um, and, and that just, that'll just be the, that'll just be the game. Um, I think he also still has the focus action tacked on Butterfree. So, um, yeah. The thing is he also has one turn of Dynamax after this, he, uh, which yep. is really good. So we can use one turn this turn. I mean, he, but these are his last two Pokemon. So he has to be careful. And again, he could miss, he could, I mean, it's not likely, but he could miss. Darmanitan switching out. This is Max Quick into that slot. And it's like Togekiss, for example. Oh, Whimsicott. Oh, no, it's Whimsicott. That's immune to sleep powder. No protects. So, well, we knew there was no protects. Max Rockfall coming out. Who's it into? Whimsicott hangs on with what? <gasps> Did Ludwig just just set the Sandstream? Read the Whimsicott <laughs> switch in, which he hadn't even seen this set, and use Sandstream to KO it through its Focus Sash. Wait, what? Oh, it's so slow. It's so it's so slow. It's so the Sleep Powder connect. If so, I mean that should be ga the game because of the sand, like you mentioned. Yeah, that's yeah. gonna knock it out. Neither of the remaining two Pokemon can protect, and Sleep Powder does connect. I think Ludwig's gonna win this second game. It would be. I'm going to be honest, only a genius could lose this game. He's got such clear, <laughs> easy, easy win conditions, but, <laughs> but I don't want to, I don't want to underestimate, I, uh, you know, I don't want to underestimate Ludwig. Um, as long as he doesn't like max rock fall into the Passimian, like, I think he's good here. Like, it's, uh, all he has to do is max, max anything, max quake into the Dermanitan, Pollen Puff yep. himself, yep. and then Rage Powder, you know, high horsepower or fire punch and win the game. However... Who can this do is the comeback, guys. That was actually sick, you know, setting up the sand. I mean, uh, that actually covers for everything because once you knock out the Duraludon and Pissimia is on the field, Rockfall is just the mo more optimal play because it covers for Togekiss, like you mentioned. And mm -hmm. the easiest way to beat Dynamax Rhyperior, or not the easiest way, but one way to really shut it down is just by switching in something that's immune to the ground-type attack. So yeah. uh, going for the smart decision there, there is the Rage Fighter, like you mentioned. Here is the Rockfall. That's this going is the run. Into that should just be the game. Yeah, well... I guess it depends. If Passimian has Rock Slide, for example, because, Aaron, there is one tiny bit of thing, like, one tiny interaction that we could mention here, which is that <sighs> high horsepower is 95% accurate, and 95 is not 100, so there are ways in which this, you know, 
this could go differently. Um, although I guess with one, no, with, you're right. With one turn of Trick Room left, he could very easily fire punch Pollen Puff and just win the game. Yeah, I wonder, have we seen Ludwig use Pollen Puff on himself yet? Does he he know tried last game, He uh, but he went for double protect Pollen Puff. I'm not sure if he realized uh, that that doesn't work if you don't fail, the, if you fail, the, if you get the protect. Um, oh, this is scary though, because he opted for the Rage Powder. If he misses high horsepower, Pessimian wakes up and knocks out the Butterfree. <laughs> Oh, he missed! Oh, he woke up! <laughs> oh. oh my god! It's 95% accurate! No! Uh, I'm like, don't do it. Just fire a punch! It's... <laughs> oh. Okay, well, Trick Room should end and Butterfree moves first. So, Ludwig has a really safe sleep batter here, or Palin Puff himself, unless. I could also just he could also just rage batter. I mean, surely he won't miss another high horsepower, right? Oh, he's going for it. It comes. To... <laughs> he's, there's no way he wouldn't miss two high horsepowers to lose the tournament, would he? Oh my! Knock goodness. off. Okay, I think this will kill, but maybe not. Yeah, I think so too. It comes down to Ludwig. Can he get a 95 percent accurate move? <laughs> does he hit it? Is Please. high horsepower gonna connect? It right, does. Here, it connects. <laughs> okay, we're going to game three. <laughs> Ooh, Ludwig. Oh. Okay, hat on backwards, Ash, Ash catching, Ash, whatever. Okay, all right, Ludwig's still in this. We have we have game three, Ludwig.gg versus Ben. Oh, Ludwig gave me a heart attack. Oh. That was almost the end of the tournament, guys, but this is the final game of the tournament one way or another. You can see Ludwig, he's feeling the emotion. Um, He knows, he knows how much is on the line here, which is, you know, if Ludwig, you know, the guy that everyone said had no chance to, uh, to win this one and... Coincidentally, actually, fun fact, guys, we seeded this tournament to determine pools. The bottom two seeds were Ludwig at number seven <laughs> and Zane at number eight. Zane did not have a capture card at the time. Or, Zane, sorry, Zane did not have a switch at the time. Um, <laughs> and here they are in finals. <laughs> so it's the seven seed versus the eight seed. <laughs> Dude, Ludwig's got dope pants, I gotta say. Oh, wait, I want to see them. Ludwig, come back. Let me, let me okay, go to okay, chat. Okay. Is this the run? Is this the run? So here's the thing, oh, right? Pants. Like, Zane certainly is going to adjust this time. He knows for that potential play. So what you can do is if you expect the Dust Collapse to switch out, you can just knock out Butterfree turn one. Right. Meanwhile, Ludwig has refused to put the Duraludon to sleep with Butterfree. So Ludwig, maybe... he's never put it to sleep. He's had no. three or four <laughs> shots, two or three shots. He's, he's playing it. He's playing this on hard mode. Like if the Duraludon was just asleep, this game would have ended on the first turn. Oh no, Ludwig. Oh, don't do that, Ludwig. Oh, but, he, no. but he knows that he knows that the Dust Collapse will survive or potentially survives the... Plus two max dark. But it doesn't so. survive it with Earthquake, and I think that's really, really relevant yes, here. Yes, yes, yes. That's absolutely critical. I feel like one of Ludwig's biggest strengths in this matchup, or in this in this whole tournament, is he forces opponents to make 50-50s turn one and just calls them perfectly. I've seen him do this lead before with Charizard Dusclops, where he either goes into Torkoal turn one. Um, you know, that's the, that's the thing. He either goes into Torkoal and picks up a big KO. Like we yeah. mentioned, Max Airstream in the Sun from Dynamax Charizard will just, will probably just, it can KO everything on this team. However, I'm scared. He's not bringing Butterfree. He didn't bring Butterfree. He's had enough of Butterfree. Zane's oh, not switching from his <laughs> game plan. Is this going to be just like the World Champ Invitational? And is Ludwig going for Trick Room or is he going for Torkoal and Switch? If he is going for the Torkoal and the Switch, or Manitan is Rock Slide, but it looks like he's off. Ooh. Oh, this is so oh, I'm scary. So for scared, both dude. Players. Oh, God. He doesn't even Dynamax Charizard, he's just going for Raw this Heat Wave. It's literally the 50-50 gamble, like you said, I mean, you, I <laughs> What do you do if you're Zane? Do you go for the Earthquake Dark Pulse again, or do you go for it's Rock right. Slide? The thing with, the thing with uh, if you're in Zane's position, is you can Rock Slide Dark Pulse, and that covers, <laughs> like, it gives flinch. you two flinch chances on Dust Clops, too. Right, but you can also miss Rock Slide, which we have, so we actually saw Zane double miss Rock Slide earlier. This is it, this is gonna tell us, oh my look goodness. at Zane's player cam, is he reacting? The I'm Gambit! now for these guys oh my god one player is gonna lose both pokemon or very close to it this turn the other one i don't know rock slider earthquake dynamax oh wait we knew that sorry <laughs> i'm so stressed the gambit <laughs> the plan has become very far from simple boys it is duraludon <laughs> now here's the thing duraludon will drop to this heat wave most likely in sun i don't know that much about duraludon but it is a stapler and staplers are metal and you know what i'm saying ludwig puts ludwig gambit in the chat Earthquake or Rock Slide? Max Guard! He doesn't oh, either! It's a Max Guard! That's gonna be a Rock Slide. Does it connect? Oh! <gasps> Turbo misses! Charizard hits! Oh my god. Well, the game. Okay, the Gambit didn't necessarily work per se. However, the game is not over. It's not, because now you could potentially set up Trick Room with Dust Club. Unless you flinch from a Rock Slide, you can yeah. set up Trick Room. 
Zane makes the correct call, but again, this is Ludwig is playing a positional game, just like game two, which he won. He, he lost Charizard turn one. This time he didn't get Trick Room up though. Oh no, Ludwig. Okay. Oh. No. Oh god. Oh, he goes into Rhyperior. <laughs> I don't know if this is the run, boys. Uh, it might not be, but if there's one person I can't count out, if there's one thing I learned today, you never count Ludwig out. Never dude. count Ludwig out. <laughs> wow, but going for that, just just going for the rock slide. Yeah, I mean, especially because the Duraludon just max guarded too. That was an interesting, like Dynamax yeah. and then max guarding. Yeah, wow. I guess, I mean, there's a chance that, ooh, ooh, wait, hang on a second. There's a chance that, um, Simeon's in. There's a, there's a there's a very real chance that um, Dynamax Charizard would be able to survive the the rock slide. I don't entirely know that calc, but um, yeah. <sighs> this is crazy. <laughs> I feel like I've seen Ludwig Dynamax protect like turn one so often, and it's worked like every time. Let's see if it continues. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, okay, okay. There's right here. There is the max card. Is Steel Spike going into Steel that Spike? slot? It is Steel Spike going into that slot! Okay, Heat Wave comes out. This is going to do a ton of damage. 2 hit KO on the Passimian. How much is the Duraludon? Oh, oh my god. So no burns. That's a lot of damage, though. Okay. 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 I mean, the thing is here, a Torkoal Heat Wave will knock out both now, right? Yeah, it will. Um, But what do you do if you're Zane? Because you could close combat and max... Uh, you, could close, you could easily close combat and... Um, and Max Dragon into both into Torkoal. Steel yeah. Spike comes out. Oh boy. Oh boy. Into Torkoal? It's a Torkoal, what? Okay, he's going for the defense boost. I think Max Dragon might have been better there, but I've said that before oh, and uh, Zane won better. that set. Oh. <laughs> Don't think that defense boost will matter. Oh, and the knockoff. Knock okay. Smart. So he's setting up but... for an end game, it looks like. It looks like it looks like Zane doesn't care about these two Pokemon. He's trying to win with what he whatever he has in the back. Well, Max Quake gets the KO. It? I mean, we, we know one of them's Darmanitan, and you can't Dynamax anymore. Yeah, and you've got a special defense boost. What's the other one? Last time he had Winston. What, we could pull this off? There's no Is he way. Heat Wave has to connect here. Oh. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Ludwig looks so focused. Zane, too. Heat Wave comes out. Heat Wave! It connects! Oh, it connects. God, there was some. There was a delay there. Okay, it's 2 3. Dusclops in the back. One turn left of Dynamax Riperior. Low HP Torkoal, which can't switch moves. Darmanitan at full with Choice Scarf, Rhyperior with plus one special defense. Is this the run? <laughs> Boys, there's a chance. What's the last Pokemon? Whip is a cut! Does it have Energy Ball? Wait, Aaron, I mean, yeah, Aaron, he can't stop Trick Room from going up. So if Ludwig can just find a way to get into a position where he can Trick Room and protect, I think he can win this. Wait, this is, this is crazy. Like, yeah, right now I would say Ludwig honestly has the upper hand. I mean, you can't knock out both. I don't even, like, Rock Slide... Energy Ball, I don't think he even knocks no out Rhyperior, way. and Rhyperior will be able to pick up a knockout on either of these. And if a Heat Wave comes off, the game with... is over. Oh my, I can't believe Whimsicott was the last one. It's Ice Cold Crash! It misses! <laughs> he went for it! I mean, it didn't It didn't matter as long as Heat Wave connected, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's going to be the end of Dormanitan. I think Ludwig's going to... I think Ludwig... No. <laughs> no. With, with Dormanitan gone, there's no way for Zane to beat Torkoal anymore, or He's let alone Dusclops. He's the greatest Dusclops. player of all time. What's that? He is the greatest Pokemon player of all time. I, I am in disbelief. If he gets the burn here, he deserves 100 gifted subs. <laughs> oh! No! No way! How? Yeah, honestly, the the, the, the uh, miss didn't end up mattering. It Torkoal didn't matter missed. at all. Torkoal, Torkoal didn't on its own. <laughs> Torkoal put the team on its back. Oh my god. Ludwig is your... First ever Wolf Clicks Super Smash Brothers Sword and Shield Invitational Champion.